Hey friends, my name is Amanda and this is Breath Dance. Welcome to the next video in our spring series. Today we're going to work with the natural state, finding that boundless love, boundless compassion, boundless joy, and boundless equanimity through breath and movement for wholeness. So I invite you to grab a mat, a couple blocks and a blanket for your knees, and we'll get started. We're going to start today in child's pose. So I invite you to come down to your mat, spread your knees wide, bring your toe mounds together, and sit your hips back. Extending your arms overhead. Rest your forehead on the earth and take a couple of big deep breaths here. In and out through the nose. Feel the feedback and expansion of your rib cage, your front body, your back body, and your side bodies. Feeling yourself expand 360 degrees with your inhale. And feel your body deflate with your exhale slowly and mindfully. Beautiful. Inhale, lift your heart just a little bit. Walk both hands over to the left. Stretch through the right side body as you press the earth away with your left hand. Bring it in a little bit with your right. <sighs> Let it all go. Inhale, walk your hands all the way over to the right. Pressing earth away with right hand as you draw it close to the left and feel how that opens the left side body. Mm. Breathing in compassion to every part of your being. Beautiful. Bring your hands back through center, round through the spine. Come up onto all fours into your tabletop position. Stack your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, curl your toes under, and just start to wag your tail side to side in a gentle way. Beautiful. Anchor into your left hand. Lift your right hand to the sky. As your right hand extends, drag your left toes back, extending them on the earth to allow full extension through your fingertips. Beautiful. Keep those toes anchored as we exhale. Wrap the right arm around your left rib cage. Inhale, extend. Exhale, wrap. Inhale, extend. Exhale, wrap. Inhale, extend. Exhale, this time on your exhale, thread your right arm all the way down and through, bringing your right shoulder and right ear to the earth. Feel the back of the right hand anchor in as you open your shoulder blades. If you want an additional challenge, lift your left leg off the earth. Exhale, ground your left toes, press into the left hand, unwind as your right arm reaches to the sky. Beautiful work. Exhale, both hands come to the mat, draw the left knee in, and wag your tail side to side. Good. You know we're going to the other side. <laughs> Anchoring into the right hand, inhale, left hand reaches high. Right leg slides back, kickstanding the toes, allowing a deeper opening through the shoulders and the hips. Exhale, wrap the left arm around the right rib cage. Inhale, extend. Exhale, wrap. Inhale, extend. Exhale, wrap. Give yourself a hug. Inhale, extend. Exhale, this time thread the left arm under and through. Bring your left shoulder, left ear to the mat as you press the back of the left hand into the earth. You can stay right here for support. Option to extend your right leg to the sky for more challenge. 
You may feel a little wobbly here, that's okay. Exhale, ground your right toes, press into your right hand, unwind as we reach the left hand to the sky. Exhale, both hands come to the earth, draw your knee under, wag your tail, shake them tail feathers. <laughs> Beautiful. Hmm. Coming into stillness, take three deep breaths. Connecting with those qualities of your natural state of love, compassion, joy, and equanimity. Exhale, untuck the toes, hinge at the knees, bring the chest to the thighs as you reach the hands back towards the heels for your Balasana pose. Inhale, lift the sits bones away from the heels as you lift all the way up to kneeling. Continue to lift your arms to the plane of the shoulders and release. Inhale, arms to the sky and release. Inhale, arms to the sky, cactus, arms, bending your elbows, shine your hands forward. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips. We're going to start to shift the weight into the right knee. As we do, I'm going to turn to face you. We're going to lift the left knee and just balance with this. It's going to feel wobbly and silly. That's part of the goal. <laughs> Excellent. Play with it a little bit. You can extend and wrap around. <laughs> We're really working to turn on all of these core support muscles. This is a great, silly way to do it. Awesome. The next time you reach that left foot forward, step it up and out at about a 45 degree angle. Hands come to hips as we start to sink into the left hip. But where I really want you to focus is on that right psoas as we open that front line. You can open the front line a little more by reaching the right hand up to the sky as we sink in. Beautiful work. Lower your left arm to the inside of the left knee. Right arm reaches high as it reaches up and over to the left. Pulse here as we deepen the bend in the left knee and lengthen the left leg, alternating between this pulse. Three, Two and one. Beautiful. Bringing both hands to the sky. Float your hands to your blocks. Bring your blocks under your shoulders as we circle out the hips. Creating nice circles over the right knee. And notice how that translates into the rest of your body. Beautiful. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, float your hands to the earth. You can set your blocks on their lowest setting for support of the hands or bring your hands straight to the mat. We're gonna slide the left toes back and all the way around to the right, making a nice big C curve in the spine. Beautiful. Extending long left leg out behind you. Bend the left knee, step the foot to the center of your blocks. Right toes curl under as we lift the right knee. Arms rise into a high crescent lunge. Exhale, hinge at the hips, float your hands to your blocks. Press into the right foot to lift the right leg for a little standing split. Exhale, bends the left knee as we float the right toes to the earth. Rotate your right heel down. Right hand picks us up. We rise, warrior two. Extend those arms out long. Pulse with me here, floating in that natural state, experiencing equanimity in your body. 
Exhale, bring the left arm to the thigh, right arm reaches up and over, extended side angle. Inhale, arms to a T. Exhale, lower both hands to the sides. Turn your right toes forward. We'll step the right foot up and forward into our dancing Shiva. Foot dials over to the left, arms out to the side. Exhale, hinge the hips, extend the right leg long behind you. Virabhadasana three. Hinge at the hips further, bring your hands to your blocks, right knee reaches to the sky. Exhale, both feet come to the mat, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, we rock. Exhale, hands to heart center. <laughs> You'll find me in my hair, this is a fun flow. Inhale, arms down. Exhale, swan dive forward, hinge at the hips, lead with the heart, plant your hands. Step one foot back and then the other with your hands on your blocks for a supported downward facing dog. Pedal out your legs here. Exhale, bring both knees to the earth. Hinge at the hips, hinge at the knees, slide your hands back towards your heels, put Balasana. Big, full breath, feeling the whole torso expand 360 degrees. Inhale, we lift the sit bones away from the heels, rolling up one vertebra at a time, letting the arms extend to the shoulders and release. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, release. This time, anchoring into the left knee, we're going to start to float the right knee around in our silly little balance here and play with it. It should be wobbly. It should be fun and goofy and feel challenging. Try not to overthink it. Just let the muscles do their job as they fine tune their balance. <laughs> and we'll step the right foot forward. Hands come to hips as we start to sink into our right hip. Notice the left psoas opening, left arm can lift to deepen that front line extension. Let it be playful, let it be fun. Beautiful. Coming to our neutral lunge, extend your right arm to the inner thigh, Reach the left arm up and over, making that big C curve in the spine. And we're going to shift between deepening our lunge as we bend into the right knee and lengthening the right leg. Good. Shift forward and hinge back. Yep. Doing great. Three. Two. And one. Bending into the right knee, both arms rise. Exhale, float your hands forward. Bring your hands to your blocks, and we'll start to circle over the left knee, finding space in that right hip joint. That feels so good. I don't know if you guys have noticed of my content lately, but this is like one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> For good reason. It lubricates the hip joint, it opens up all 12 hip flexors, and it brings stability and balance into our bodies and strength. <laughs> Beautiful. Sinking in, we're going to slide that right foot back and all the way around over to the left. Gaze over the left shoulder to create that C-curve in the spine. Beautiful. Inhale, long right leg lengthens. Exhale, big bend in the right knee as you step your foot to the middle of the mat. Curling left toes under, left knee rises. Inhale, arms rise, high lunge. Exhale, hinge at the hips, bring your hands to your blocks, shift the weight into your right foot as the left leg elevates standing split. 
Exhale, right knee bends, left toes come to the earth as we anchor the left heel. Left arm picks us up, we rise. Virabhadasana two, let's float with it. Floating in that natural state. Settle in, right arm bends, left arm extends forward, extended side angle. Uttita Parshva Uttanasana. Inhale, arms to a T warrior two. Exhale, lower both hands to your sides. Turn the left toes forward, arms rise, high crescent lunge. Exhale, hinge at the hips, bring your hands forward. Come back up. Thank you. Step forward. Dancing Shiva. <laughs> I almost forgot. <laughs> And we'll hinge the hips, lead with the heart, left leg lifts, Virabhadasana three. Exhale, left foot comes forward, hinge at the hips, forward fold, Uttanasana. Shake it out, bend your knees, sway side to side. <sighs> Exhale, fingertips to the earth. Inhale, reverse one dive, we rise. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hinge at the hips, lead with the heart. Bring your hands to the blocks to the low setting. Step one foot back in the other for a block supported Adamukha Shanasana, downward facing dog. Pedal it out here. <sighs> Three open mouth exhales, breathing in those qualities of boundless love, compassion, joy, and equanimity, our natural state of being. Exhale, bring both knees to the earth. Slide your left knee forward. Keep your knee and your ankle and your sits bone in alignment as we extend the right leg back. Bring your hands and forearms to your blocks and just gently rock side to side. And the teacher Satyang calls this the not pigeon pose because the foot's not over to the opposite side. <laughs> it's just accessing some space in the hip and the knee and the quadricep, not so much the piriformis. We'll roll over onto our left hip, anchoring your left forearm. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Gentle opening here. For fun, you can bend your right knee. Exhale, release, rolling back up onto the shin, rock side to side. Beautiful. Walk your hands onto your block, slide the left knee back, and we'll switch sides, sliding the right knee forward, left leg back. Bring your forearms to your block as we shift side to side. Cleansing out any toxic thoughts, any self-sabotaging beliefs or feelings in the body. Making room for that natural state. <laughs> Rolling over onto the right hip, anchoring to the right forearm, left arm lifts, for fun, you can bend that left knee. And exhale, release, rolling back up onto your shin. Give a little rock side to side. Beautiful. Set your blocks out of the way. Bring your forearms to the earth as you slide your right leg back. Coming onto your belly, we're in a space pose with the elbows stacked under shoulders, palms on the earth, lift your heart, press into your tops of your big toe to activate the kneecaps. Exhale, dial your elbows out as you lower your forehead to the backs of the hands and just rock the hips side to side. Lift the head just enough to extend the left arm to a T. 
Press the earth away with the right arm as we roll over onto the left side. Slide your left knee up on the mat to a 90, pressing your left foot into the earth. Reach your right, or your right foot into the earth. Reach your right hand to the sky for a modified broken wing. Breathe into that left shoulder. Exhale, rolls us back onto our belly. Stack the hands under the forehead and mouth. Inhale, lift your head, extend your right arm to a T, pressing the earth away with your left hand as we roll over onto the right side. Left foot grounds, right knee bends onto the mat as your left arm reaches to the sky. Exhale, release your top hand, extend both legs as you roll onto your belly, stack your hands, and rest your forehead on the backs of your hands as you melt. Inhale, lift your heart slightly. Walk yourself in a plank over to the left side of your mat. Extend your right arm overhead and flippy floppy roll over onto your back. <laughs> Drawing both knees into the chest. Give yourself a little hug here, rock side to side. Opening your arms to a T, let your knees float to a 90. Take a big breath in. Exhale, both knees rotate to the right as you gaze left for a full spinal twist. Mm. Inhale through center. Exhale it on over to the other side. Knees left, gaze right. Inhale through center. Relax your legs, extending one leg out onto the earth and then the other. Let your arms rest at your sides as you come into your Shavasana. Feel a light smile wash over your face as you settle into your natural state. The peaceful feeling that we experience in Shavasana when we let ourselves melt and truly enjoy the nature of this pose is an expression of our natural state. And it's always present, ever present inside of us. And I think we oftentimes get caught up in looking for solutions to our stress outside of ourselves or looking for happiness or peace or all those things that we try to find a quick fix for or a happy pill for. But at the end of the day, the great meditation masters remind us that that natural state is within us all the time. It never goes away. And while we can be distracted by our thoughts, our fears, our doubts, our shame, our guilt, our judgments, those are all simply distractions. And the core of our essence is this natural state, the state of boundless love, compassion, joy, and equanimity. And that through our movement practice, through our breath, through our flow state, through something that we really love, we access it effortlessly. And it's the story that we carry that tells us that we have to try to find it. So as you rest in Shavasana, I invite you to not look for anything but to simply allow your natural state to bubble to the surface. The world will find a million ways to distract you. 
and that's okay. Just remember that it's always right here at home, right inside of your heart. Bringing awareness to the edges of your skin, the tips of your fingers and your toes. Start to awaken in the spirit of joy. And rolling over to your right side, cradle your precious head in your arms as you begin to bring all of those beautiful qualities into your heart, into your consciousness. And as you rise, rise with effortless effort to your final seat. Just as a seed reaches for the sky, reach for your heart. Bring your hands together at heart center, deepest gratitude for this opportunity to share our natural state together as a reminder that it's always inside and that your quickest gateway there is breath and movement for wholeness. Thank you so much for coming. My gratitude goes to you. My name is Amanda. This is Breath Dance, and we'll see you soon.